Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have another night video for you. Fortunately, we're not fighting the humidity like we were the other night. It's pretty humid out, but everything's not fogging up. Now, I am being illuminated right now by a 20 million candle power spotlight that is 125 feet away. It is a rechargeable flashlight and it has a 35 watt bulb, so on a charge that light lasts a pretty long time. What's amazing about that light is it gives off a very true white light. So I'm gonna show you a little bit with that light and then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking the light energy from that light, transferring it through a Fresnel lens and powering something with the solar panel. So in a sense, we've got some wireless power transfer. Now I'm gonna be doing two different things. I have the parabolic shape set up behind me, which you probably can't see because it's in the dark, and I have the Fresnel lens. I'm gonna pan around and show you the light that's 125 feet away and we're gonna go from there. Okay, here's our solar panel. There's the parabolic shape. There's our Fresnel lens. And way over there is our spotlight. It's 125 foot away. And it's hard to believe, but that is a 35 watt bulb, supposedly. Uh, the charge on that lasts about an hour, so it's pretty close to it. It doesn't get as hot as a normal, um, uh, like 10 million candle power spotlight and it's supposedly rated at 20 million candle power okay with the help of another flashlight which is another 20 million candle power light but has a warmer light that is what the light looks like so we're gonna pan around and you can see our targets way off in the distance uh, this is both lights this is supposedly 20 million candle power too but you can see that there's quite a difference in the beam intensity. To give you an idea of how powerful this uh, light is, I have some targets set up. That target is 100 foot away. That target right there, 200 foot away. This target way out there, go ahead and focus. That's 300 foot away, and not the light post, hold on. That target way back there is 400 foot away. All right, we've got our usual setup here. By the way, if you're wondering about my attractive clothing, I actually have this on because the mosquitoes have been absolutely horrendous with all the rain that we've had. The uh, tadpoles, they've been doing their share in their little pond, but there's water all over, so. Anyways, that's why I'm dressed the way that I am. I don't always dress this way. Actually, I do, but not when I go out. Anyways, this is the six watt solar panel. It's not a real powerful solar panel. It's not a really big solar panel, but it does give us good readings for our test. This is our voltage meter. I have right here a 250 milliamp motor. It's actually a geared motor. And I also have a little light bulb down here. So what I'm gonna see is if we can take the, we're gonna get voltage readings through the Fresnel lens and off of the parabolic reflector. And then we're gonna run this, we're gonna run the light, and that's basically gonna be it. 125 feet away, keep in mind. All right, right now the light is just directly on this. And the voltage meter um, is actually registering zero. So we're not pulling any anything at all with this. So at that distance, the solar panel's not doing anything. All right, here we go, the first try with the parabolic reflector. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, focus this on there and see what we get. So the parabolic reflector is capable of producing about 11 volts. Now we're gonna see if it runs that small motor. I'm gonna move this around and see if we can get it to uh, nudge it. So that motor right now is being powered from a flashlight that is 125 foot away. Not too bad. And the voltage is, it has four volts left over. So that's really not a lot of power left over because it's real low amperage, but still for 125 foot away, that's not too bad. Now we're gonna see if it can turn that little light bulb on.
So it was able to register about 11 volts from 125 feet away, turn the little motor, but not capable of powering this 12 volt light bulb. So we're gonna bring the Fresnel lens in and see what happens. The Fresnel lens is, the Fresnel, uh, ow. The Fresnel lens is doing the same thing. It's pulling 11 volts. I'm gonna take you around to the other side and we're gonna see everything work. Right now the solar panel is producing 11 volts from that light 125 foot away. We're gonna see if the motor runs. This is with the Fresnel lens. Pretty much the same test as before. We're starting to have a fog up problem again. Eh, oh well. You can see that motor is being run from that solar panel. All right, well there you have it. Produces about 11 volts whether you use a Fresnel lens or the large parabolic shape and uh, Hopefully that was the first video seeing wireless power transfer. Now this is very inefficient. There's not, you're probably losing 90% of the energy coming this way. Still, it's an interesting experiment. 125 foot away to be powering something just with a light. Hmm. Solar panels get better or if I use a better solar panel, who knows what you can do. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.